Hi. So in this video, we're going to be talking about the table config type, which is this section here. So we're going to change the details in this table, not table row, which is about this sort of thing where we repeat rows. If you want to watch that video, then switch over now. Uh, so we're going to repeat this table for every item in a list data source. As you can see in Word, you need it to be contained within a table, but this doesn't need to be visible, so you can hide the borders. So I'll do that now. I'll just say I don't want any borders, but still the, the table is there, and it's probably too faint to see on this YouTube video, but uh, you should be able to see it yourself. So that's everything I need on here, just some uh, merge fields. If I now go to my .config, uh, then what I need to do is add the config types. So the first one I'm going to need to add is table. The data source is opportunity products and the merge field I need to pick from the document. Now it can be any merge field that's in that table. You know, everyone uh, <laughs> tends to pick the first one, doesn't need to be. So I'll copy that one and I'll paste that into the merge field here and you'll see that that's picking up. Now, in other solutions, you may have a merge field which is just to identify that table. It might be like table start and then something uh, on the end of it. You can do that. If you wanna keep working like that, that's fine. And you can then remove the merge field uh, so that it doesn't actually display. We've then got options for spacing. Let's say um, I'm gonna do single spacing. So just uh, one enter key will be pressed between each one. Uh, and I won't add any conditions about showing this. So I'll say, okay, that's been added to the bottom here. And now I need to add the rest of the child items to this table. So if we look at the Word document again, we've got three fields. We've used the product name already to identify the table, but we still need to say what we want to go into that merge field kind of data wise, and then the quantity and then the total price. So let's add the first child, single type using the parent data source. The field that I want to go in is the product name and I'll just type name and I've put T for table on the end here. Okay, and new. Uh, the next one was quantity. Let's say I'm not gonna put any formatting in. We're gonna do that in another video. Quantity T again. Okay, and new. And this one, uh, the price. And we'll say it's a currency um, and total price T. Okay, so about six clicks there to put that together. Save to server. And now if I go back to my record, I can click this button and preview it and we're going to see uh, the original one up there and now I can see my breakdown. So you can see it's just got the, the kind of regular text that's gonna repeat as part of this table uh, and I didn't save the, the version without the borders. Uh, so those borders are still visible, but I'll show you in a second. It's then got the name of the product, installation portable, the uh, quantity which is stored in Salesforce as a with a decimal. So you can see I've done the formatting on this table up here, change it, and then the price I put bottom right. And you can see as well, because I put the name in bold, then it's gonna show it in bold. So I'll quickly just update the file that I'm gonna use. Is that the one without table? I've gotta save it. Uh, yep. Open that there, press save to server. And now when I click this, the borders should be gone. So there we go. That's just another way to um, display information in a table however you like.